Over a hundred years ago during World War I, the Ottoman Empire perpetrated the first genocide of the modern era when it murdered a million and a half ethnic Armenians. That ethnic cleansing wiped out thousands of years of Armenian presence in Anatolia. Today, the oldest of all Armenian territories is now the victim of an ethnic cleansing campaign. This time it's Arsakh also known as Nagorno-Karabakh. During the Soviet era, the Kremlin forcibly incorporated this Christian territory into Muslim Azerbaijan. Arsakh had been Orthodox Christian and Armenian for over a thousand years. It has one of the oldest, most beautiful cathedrals in the world. Beginning in 2020, Azerbaijan ruthlessly launched an ethnic cleansing campaign against this peaceful and peace-loving people. It systematically bombarded population centers with cluster bombs and missiles. And in September, Azerbaijan launched an unprovoked invasion and expelled all 120,000 ethnic Armenians. All the world was focused on Gaza and Israel with indignation and outrage from every direction. We heard almost nothing about this mass expulsion of the entire population of one of the oldest Armenian states on the planet. Empty condemnations of this ethnic cleansing campaign are not enough. Unlike the 1915 genocide, this one is reversible. The U.S. government needs to organize and mobilize the global community to take action to ensure the safe return of Armenians to Artsakh and to defend their right to self-determination. This is a situation where peaceful sanctions could actually work. The U.S. still has leverage in that region and it can use that power to mobilize all of the nations in that region to reverse this humanitarian tragedy. We should also seek the removal of the blockades in Armenia by Turkey and Azerbaijan. Armenia is a landlocked nation and it needs access to ports and to the surrounding countries. As President of the United States, I will use diplomacy, our moral authority, our economic leverage and sanctions to restore Armenia to a nation of peace and justice. I want to commit this country to the restoration of the sovereignty of Armenia and Artsakh and to the restoration of its territory. I want to do this peacefully. Instead of starting another war somewhere, I'd like to stop one.